My name is Sophie. Welcome to the New Forms Apparel Studio, where I design simple, minimalist clothing and show you how to make it at home. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the five steps of how to make a luxury linen face mask. But firstly, go to my fashion school and download the free face mask pattern. Link will either be in the YouTube description or at newformsapparel.teachable.com. You're going to learn techniques and details such as top stitching, elastic pocket, adjustable elastic, under stitching, and of course, it's a fully lined mask. Let's talk about fabric. I've bought a lovely heavyweight linen for the top mask and a midweight linen for the lining from the fabric store. I'll leave a link to that in the resource section. Now here's how to match your thread to the fabric. If you lay it on the fabric and it, it disappears, it's a match. I'm using a darker thread for the project so you can see my stitches when I'm sewing. And of course, some elastic, approximately 45 centimeters long. I'm using hat elastic. Find the right side of your fabric and place the right sides together. Line up the grain line on the pattern with the grain of the fabric. This is important so the finished garment will sit nicely and not twist. Pin then repeat for the lining. Then we need to cut in the notches. Notches help line up the pattern pieces when we're sewing it together. Don't cut any deeper than the line. Take off the pattern. If you are a beginner, you might want to draw in a one centimeter guideline at this point. Pin along the curve like so. This helps control the fabric when you're sewing this curve. Sew the pieces together with a 1cm seam allowance. Line up the fabric with the 1cm marking on your sewing machine. This will be your sewing guide.
At this point, check your work before you go any further. Make sure all the pieces are lined up. If you check your work as you go, then you don't have to unpick so much if you make a mistake. To make this curve sit nicely, we have to snip into it. Pick your fabric scissors and gently snip around the curve like so. Be careful not to snip into the stitching. Now we're going to iron this seam open. Then repeat with the lining. Now you should have two pieces that look like this. We're going to top stitch this seam, which will make it stronger and be a decorative detail. In order to get a nice even top stitch, line up the indent of the foot here with the seam and follow that along as you sew, like so. Gently sew along here, like so. get to the end then just juggle the wheel like that of your sewing machine and line it up again you may notice at this point that the lining is smaller than the main mask by a couple of millimeters Here's one I made earlier. The reason the lining is smaller is to accommodate the turn of the main mask and it keeps the lining taunt on the inside. Place the right sides of the pieces together and line up the middle seams perfectly. Then pin. The lining should be 5mm shorter on either side here too. Match up the first notches and pin there as well. Make sure you only sew one centimetre seam on the top and the bottom of the mask. Now we are going to snip that curve. Turn your work to face you and gently snip into it. Understitching is a great technique for getting this stitch-free result at the front of the mask. It also holds the lining in place. Alternatively, you could top stitch the top and bottom of the mask if understitching is too advanced for you. To understitch the lining, we need to get into the right side of the mask on the lining side, just in here. You also need to make sure the lining and the main seam are pushed towards the lining side. You can secure this with some pins. When we sew, we're only going to sew to the midpoint of the mask, otherwise it gets too difficult to sew past that point. Put your needle into the lining side of the mask like so. We're going to stitch about a millimeter to two millimeters away from the seam and as we go we're just going to gently gently pull the seam apart. Uh -huh. 
As you can see, we've sewn the seams to the lining side of the mask. Now, repeat this for the other three sections. Now our mask should look like this, with all the seams sewn towards the lining side. Be sure to go through and cut off all the threads. Now we're going to turn the mask through. Be sure to cut off all the threads on this side and then we're going to iron. We are so close to the end and you've all done really well to get to this stage, especially if you're new to sewing. In this step, we're going to make the elastic pockets without leaving any raw seams. We do this by ironing in the 5mm overlap, like so, and then we iron in another 1cm fold. Then we're going to top stitch just along that line there. Top stitch along this fold here, using the sewing machine one centimeter marking as a guide. Now we should have a finished mask. All we need to do is thread the elastic through. I've sized my elastic to about 20 centimeters with a two centimeter notch. Grab a safety pin and thread the elastic through the hole like this. Now we're going to thread that through the elastic bag we made. Voila!